923 on North Dakota Today. We're talking about traditional roles as prescribed by the Bible. Are they relevant still today? Pastor Kermit Culver from Legacy United Methodist Church is with us here to talk a little bit about this. Now, I love, I'm sorry, uh, you have one of your favorite movies is My Big Fat Greek Wedding. I love and there's it. a line in that movie, <laughs> movie that says, yes, the father, the papa, is the head of the family, but the woman, the wife, is the neck That's that right. turns the head. Any way she wants. <laughs> That's, That's really so, true. That's interesting. You know, I, um, when we're talking about gender roles, not every family is religious. Not every family is, is uh, you know, was raised with that tradition, and yep. yet the gender roles are still kind of influenced by the Bible, don't you think? Yeah. Just by tradition? Um, even more than that, I mm -hmm. think by just the fact that we are created in the image of God as males and females. Mm -hmm. And with that comes some, uh, it's just part of our DNA. You think it's a natural inborn? I right? do, I do. Uh, so I don't know that it's so much the influence of specific religion or the Bible, it's just, it's kind of part of who we are. And yet I think what's really exciting and interesting is how people have adapted to those in born sort of characteristics. Um, we have a number of men in our church right now that are stay-at-home dads mm -hmm. and how that role is different. And what's really interesting is that they're not just making that decision based on economics, that the wife is a larger wage earner. It's They're making a conscious choice because of the skills and the the characteristics that both mom and dad have. I gotta ask you though, yeah. I gotta ask you though, uh, Kermit, <laughs> when, do you ever have couples that come into your office and your role as pastor, and, and the husband looks at his wife and goes, well, Pastor, she's not, she's not fulfilling her role there. She needs to be put in her place. Uh, Have you ever had that? I don't know if I've ever had that. But <laughs> typically, if they're at that point in their relationship, they're beyond my office. Yeah. They're, they're going somewhere else. They're going to the divorce court, probably. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty extreme. But yeah, it happens. And um, because really what you're saying is that when, when one tries to control the other, it yeah. doesn't work it out It just doesn't well. work. Right. Um, and that goes beyond gender role. Absolutely. That's a power issue. Right. And it's a free will issue. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, again, part of what's created in us is, is our free will. And we often make mistakes with that sure. free will. And so, yeah, this, it's, um, see, this is a huge discussion. And it's an interesting discussion. We <laughs> it could is go interesting. on and on. Yeah, we could. It'd be fun. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. What else do you want to know? <laughs> well, know if I've answered we got to wrap it up now. Thank you. Oh, I don't know <laughs> if I've answered any questions. All right, but Kermit, thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. All right. Now, when we come back on North Dakota Today, Aji Berg will take a look at the colors you'll be seeing the most this fall. So stick around.